do another quick molar conversion and we should be able to convert very easily between grams, particles, and volume. I think this is kind of a good little roadmap that you can keep in your head that can show you how you can get back and forth between grams, particles, and volume. These things are all related to each other through the mole. We know that um, if we have a certain number of grams of substance, we can convert to moles through its molar mass of that substance because we know that one mole of any substance has a fixed mass. And then we can convert very easily between particles and moles through Avogadro's constant because we know that one mole of the substance is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles, which we mean like molecules or atoms or ions or something like that. And then we know that the volume of a gas at standard temperature and pressure is related to the mole through its molar volume because one mole of any gas at standard temperature and pressure has a volume of 22.4 liters. All right. So those are the conversion factors that you can use very easily to convert grams, particles, and volume. All right, so let's go on and do a few problems. Okay, in today's video, we're gonna do another quick molar conversion, and let's just read our problem, see where, we're, where we are and where we're gonna be going. In this case, it says, how many grams are there in 100, oh no, excuse me, 62.05 liters of argon gas at standard temperature and pressure? So you can see, we've been given liters. Liters is volume, so we're gonna start here with the volume. And we want to know how many grams. This is what we're trying to find. So we're going to end up here in grams, which means we're going to go from volume to moles. And the first step, using our molar volume, one mole of gas at standard temperature and pressure is 22.4 liters. Then we're going to go from moles to grams using the molar mass, because we know that the molar mass of argon gas is 39.94 uh, grams. Okay? So here we're going to start. We always start by writing down what we've been given, 62.05 liters. We're going to convert to moles. We have liters on the top here. That's our conversion factor. We put 22.4 liters on the bottom. The mole goes on the top because that's the unit that we want. Our liters cancel, and we're left with 2.7 seven moles. 62.05 divided by 22.4 is equal to 2.77 moles. So that's the answer to the first step of this problem. Now we're going to do the second step, go from moles to grams using our molar mass as our conversion factor in this case. So we're going to put down 20, oops, excuse me, 2 point, whoopsie daisy, 2.77 moles multiplication, our line for our conversion factor, we want to have the mole here, so we're going to put the mole in the bottom, one mole goes in the bottom, so that cancels with that, we put our molar mass on the top, the molar mass of argon is 39.94 grams, 2.77 times 39.94, and we will come up with the mass of that much argon gas, in this case the mass is 110 0.45 grams. All right, that's our conversion. It was a two-step conversion, volume to moles using the molar volume of gas, and then moles to grams finally using the molar mass of argon. That's our answer. Okay, thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.